What is going on guys? Wanted to do a quick video for you today just to talk about a very, very useful website that I use to both learn programming languages and use as a reference for when I forget things about certain programming languages. Like most people, I have a primary programming language that I'm very, very comfortable with. And then sometimes you have to kind of delve off into some other ones to do some kind of task. Um, and this is where this website comes in. So the website is called Learn X and Y Minutes. And the basic idea of it is uh, it gives you a summary of programming languages, including their syntax, uh, their behaviors and things like that. Uh, so it's very useful for me, uh, like I said, when um, there's an off chance I need to do something in Bash uh, or Node.js or something that I'm not using in my day to day. I typically come here to just get a handle on the language itself and just remind myself and some of the fundamentals. They've been slowly adding to this over time and in different languages as well. Um, so you can see here they're adding different sections for algorithms and data structures. But how this website originally started was just primarily based on languages. And I believe it was originally in English as well. So it's got dozens, if not hundreds of languages here. Um, everything from, you know, your, your classic Python to things that I've never even heard about, uh, including pod. I don't know what that is. And of course, they got different languages. Some languages are only available for certain programming languages, but primarily uh, everything here by default is in English. So if we take a look at something, let's say Python, for example, uh, it tells you a little bit about the history, uh, how the primitives are constructed and the data types, behavior of different operations. And it goes through all the syntax here. You can see if I keep on scrolling down, it's fairly lengthy, but it goes through the main ideas that you need to know about if you're gonna be using this language. Um, very, very great from a reference perspective and great if you're just trying to learn a language from scratch. If you're an experienced programmer, I find this website is great if you already know programming in general. Not so great if you're just a noob coming to this and like, I want to learn JavaScript or I want to learn Python or I want to learn X because it kind of assumes that you understand the basic ideas of programming, which I assume most of you that are uh, watching this video or on this channel probably um, are familiar with. So uh, keep that in mind. It's not for be total beginners, but you know, if, as long as you have a fundamental understanding of programming, you should be fine coming here and getting some value from it. One other thing that I want to talk about is that recently um, they have this new section on tools. And I'm actually not even sure when they added this because I only come here once in a while. But they have sections on tools like AWK, which is great for text manipulation, uh, for Bash. And also there's one on Vim, I believe. Um, yeah, there it is as well. And Tmux too, which is a great uh, terminal emulator. Uh, so we take a look at Vim. If you're trying to learn Vim, and I actually went through this particular, um, I don't want to call this lesson, but summary. And it's a great, great summary of everything that you really need to know for using Vim. And very, very high quality stuff across the board. Um, it really doesn't matter what language that you're clicking on here. I'm confident that when I come here, I'm going to be able to get what I need to get and, um, you know, be able to, to unblock myself or whatever I'm working on. Uh, it's also completely open source. So if you go all the way down to the bottom and you open it up in GitHub, uh, you'll see that there is a section where you can contribute. So if you're interested in contributing, then check this out. You can kind of uh, help populate some of the rarer languages or the ones that uh, don't have an entry for them. Uh, as you can see here, for example, this one uh, only has a couple different languages while others have many, many more. Um, not sponsored by this tool at all. It's it's a free tool. It's made by some awesome guys and it's completely open source. Also has a light and a dark mode. That looks terrible. Let's go back to dark. Uh, anyways, it's very, very useful. I highly suggest you check it out. It's a great thing to know about. And I uh, hope you find this video useful. If you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.